students will be able to match a sentence to a picture in a fiction sentence. So whenever you read stories, something that I notice is that usually whatever is happening in the picture matches the sentence. So whatever the words tell me is in the picture. For example, if I am reading a page and it's talking about a cat jumping in a tree, the pictures should show me a cat jumping in a tree. Pictures and words go together. We are gonna get some practice with that today. So, I have some pictures here, and they, and some sentences, but my sentences are all mixed up, and I need to match my sentences to the correct picture. So, let's go ahead and get started. This sentence says, where is the dog? Should I put it next to this picture of a bed? Does this sentence match this picture? No, that sentence doesn't match that picture. If I read the quest, or if I read the sentence, where is the dog? It should show the picture, or the picture should show someone looking for a dog. So let's take a look. Does it match here with this sleeping cat? No. This boy looking sad? No. This boy looking? Yeah. This picture is showing where is the dog? They're looking. Let's try another one. This says that is a flower. So what's going to be in the sentence that match or what's going to be in the picture that matches the sentence? Yeah, a flower is going to be in this picture. Let's see if we can find the sentence that matches. Mm, people eating pizza. No, a bird. No. <gasps> what do you see right there in the boy's hand? A flower. The boy is thinking that is a flower. The picture matches the sentence. Here's a sentence that says, I am sick. So what are we going to see in this picture? Yeah, we're going to see somebody that is sick. That's what makes sense. The picture and the words match. They go together. Sleeping cat. No, sad boy. People eating pizza. Ooh, that person in bed is looking very sick. I am sick. Let's try this one. Can you stop? Well, what do you think you're going to see in this picture? Maybe somebody asking someone to stop. Is this cat asking anyone to stop? No. Is this boy asking anyone to stop? No. What about this bird? Is this bird asking anyone to stop? No. This crossing guard, I see a stop sign. This crossing guard is asking those kids to stop. Here's another sentence. She is playing. Well, I know that pictures and words always go together. So what are we going to see in this picture that matches this sentence? Yeah, we're going to see someone playing. That word she, we learned about that word. The word she is a word that we use when we're talking about a girl. So the sentence says she is playing. So I should see a picture of a girl playing. Which picture matches the sentence she is playing? What number picture? Seven, picture number seven matches the sentence she is playing. What about this one? This one says, I like pizza. Well, what are we gonna see in this picture? Pizza. Which picture matches the sentence, I like pizza? Picture number four. Picture number four shows two people eating some yummy pizza. I like pizza. That is a bird. 
what's going to be in our picture? A bird, because pictures and sentences go together. Which picture matches? That is a bird. Picture number six matches. That is a bird. Let's see. I see the bed. So what should I see in this picture that says, I see the bed? A bed. Which picture matches? Picture number eight. I see the bed. What's a sentence that could go with this picture? Did you think of the sentence, the boy is sad? This picture shows the boy is sad. What could be a sentence to match this picture? Did you think of a sentence like, the cat is asleep? Whenever we read, the sentences should match the pictures, just like these do. Go ahead and take out your learning from home uh, language arts book. Open it up to page number 11. It should look like this. Shot 11, Wednesday, March 15th. You are gonna look at each picture. There are six pictures and six sentences. Write the number uh, for the sentence under the correct picture. For example, this picture shows a boy playing basketball. So I'm gonna look over here, it says, Hmm, I'm gonna find the sentence, Kevin shoots a basketball. So this matches this one. So read the sentences, match them to the picture. Sentence number one, Tim dresses up in his favorite shirt. Sentence number two, Daniel woke up early. Sentence number three, Bill plays with his pet. Sentence number four, Martha loves to cook noodles. Sentence number five, they like playing soccer. Remember, pictures and sentences go together. Whatever you see in your picture should match the sentence that goes with it.